What does Israel mean to me? What Israel means to me? What does Israel mean to me? Israel to me is an example of God's promises. Israel, the people and the land belong to the Lord. What Israel means to me? Well, <laughs> just look behind me. I couldn't think of a better place to be. I'm here in Israel. Israel is a miracle. Israel is God's land. It's the nation that he has chosen, the people he's chosen for himself. He's placed his very name on Jerusalem, the city of Jerusalem. So it's so exciting to reflect on God's faithfulness as we celebrate Israel's 75th anniversary. When I consider God's faithfulness in relation to the nation of Israel, my mind goes to Jeremiah chapter 31. Only if the heavens above can be measured and the foundations of the earth below be searched out, will I reject all the descendants of Israel because of all they have done, declares the Lord. I remember the first time I was in Israel and I got to read things in the Bible, in the location, on a piece of property. And all of a sudden, all of my theology, which is abstract, became literal and tied to a real place. You know, the Bible tells us that Israel is the Lord's first son. Each time a Jewish person comes to know the fullness of God through Yeshua, that the Lord beams with pride and satisfaction. The whole country of Israel to me represent home. You know, my wife's Israeli and I've been to Israel over 50 times. Every time when I land there, I'm amazed at the miracle that is a modern state rebirthed out of nothing. And God said, I'll, I'll regather you from all the places where I've scattered you and I'll bring you back into your own homeland. He's done that, not because of our faithfulness as a people, but because of his faithfulness as a promise-keeping God. And I'm so thankful that I and Jewish people around the world have a place we can call home. We went to Israel and my husband sits down in the tour bus and says, you know what? I think I'm Jewish. I'm like, what? And he said, yeah, I'm having a memory of my real father taking me to synagogue and I was wearing a kippah. So we went home, we did a DNA test, and guess what? My husband's 47% Jewish. And here I am working at a Jewish ministry. It's like God really did ordain everything. So for me, it was a revelation and continues to be. And when I think about the upcoming 75th anniversary, to me, that's just proof that God is still working, He's still moving, and He's still keeping His promises to Israel. Israel isn't just important to me, but should be important to everyone that's watching this because this is the greatest fulfillment of Bible prophecy, the clearest fulfillment of Bible prophecy in the last century. We realize that Israel plays a major part in uh, getting out the good news of Yeshua in these last days, not only to Jewish people, but to the nations. And we at Jewish Voice are excited to be a part of that ministry and realizing that there's many open doors for us in the days ahead. It reminds me of a poem written by Rabbi Yehuda Halevi, and he said, my heart is in the east, but I live in the edge of the west. Israel reminds me that there's a place that I always intrinsically belong. It's where I find community and hope for the future. He dwells here. That means so much to me, to come to the place where God said He dwells. Israel stands as a beacon of light to those of us in the nations, that God is faithful to keep His word, even when we're not faithful to keep our own. The God of Israel keeps His promises. So for this birthday, for this anniversary, I'm actually celebrating the promise keeper because his promises are yes and amen, and I'm taking hold of that in my own life. But he wants to be right there alongside of us, just as he has been faithfully alongside of Israel, not just for the 75 years of its existence, but through the whole biblical narrative. That his word is true, that he fulfills his promises, and so we can trust him to fulfill his promises to us. That's what Israel means to me. So that's what Israel means to me. Happy 75th anniversary, Israel. Happy 75th anniversary, Israel. The Lord has been faithful. He will continue to fulfill his word always.